In this video, we'll build a Docker container for this Django app and we'll push that container to AWS, Google Cloud and Azure. So let's get started. So first I'll create here a Docker file. So we need to start from Python and the version that I will put here is 3.9 Alpine. So this container will have a uh, Python pre-installed uh, with this version and also Alpine is the smallest ver version of Linux. Let's add an environment uh, variable which is Python unbuffered one. This is uh, needed in order to see the logs in our Python app. And now let's create a working directory. So this uh, you can name it whatever you want uh, all the files will be added in this app folder then uh, we need uh, to uh, install the dependencies so i will add here a file called requirements txt and here i will just add Django with this uh, version. So this is our only requirement and uh, we need to copy that uh, file to the working directory. So this dot means uh, this working directory. So we'll copy this file to the working directory and then we need to run the command pip install minus r. Uh, I will copy the file here. So this will install all the dependencies uh, inside this container. Don't forget also once you add the dependency to update also your requirements that, that txt. Once we install everything we'll copy all the files so we'll copy everything here to this uh, working directory and uh, that's it. So in the end we'll run the command python manage.py run server I'll put here the host it needs to be 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 so it should be inside the docker container so this should be the, the port uh, the host sorry and the port should be 80 why did I uh, change the port to 80 because uh, all our containers in this uh, project will run on port 80 and I'm reusing videos so that's why I put 80 but if you want you can put uh, the normal port 8000 so let's run this docker file to run this docker file we have to build we have to build it first so docker build and we want to specify the name for this uh, container so to specify a name put minus t I'll call it up and I'll add the dot in the end which means it will build in this context and it will select this docker file let's run it and uh, as we can see it's building let's wait till it's completed so it is built now this container uh, can be pushed to the cloud but before let's test it on our browser so uh, to test it on our browser run docker run we need to specify a port so for the back uh, for the container is uh, 80 as we saw and in our front end, uh, in our uh, browser we can put whatever port we want i will put 8888 in the end we need our container which is up let's run it as we can see our server is running and now we can go to our browser and type localhost port 8888 and this is our Django app running so uh, the container is working fine and now we are ready to push it to the cloud I will also close the IDE because uh, we won't use it anymore so I'm logged into my Azure portal here and uh, before I create anything make sure to have uh, installed the Azure CLI so download the right version for your machine and uh, follow the instructions 
you will have uh, access to this az command which uh, it will show these options so before uh, uh, so let's go back to the azure portal and uh, we will create a container registry so we don't have any container registry yet so let's create a container registry so uh, I will create a container registry here the resource group I, ha I have a demo, demo resource group here which I added just the name the registry name I will call it up so it needs uh, to have uh, five characters so I will call it my app uh, already in use so my container okay it's container app so which name is not used so my container app I will use this uh, name and uh, for the location you can pick your location for this SKU I will select the ba basic version let's create it and uh, we can uh, create this uh, registry and now that we created our registry uh, we need also to log in so uh, first we have to log in uh, via Azure like this easy login so we need to sign in to our account here and uh, we logged in to Microsoft Azure so as we can see uh, it uh, shows this data so after we log in there we have to run this other command so uh, Azure uh, Azure container registry login and here we need the name which was which was up so let's copy it also so go to the resource and let's copy the URL which is uh, this one so uh, we don't need the suffix so let's log in so this will allow us to push the docker container to Azure so we successfully logged in and uh, now that we logged in we can uh, push our image to push our image first we have to tag the image so docker tag the name of our container is up and uh, I'll paste again this uh, URL which I copied and uh, we need to add in the end slash up so this is uh, our uh, repository here so I added this and uh, after we tag we have to push it so let's push it and now it's pushing our container to the uh, Azure uh, container registry so let's wait till it's completed so it is completed now we can go back and uh, here we'll go to the repositories this is our app repository and uh, here we have our image so this is uh, our image and uh, what I will do here is uh, I will copy this uh, container name so I'll copy this and uh, let's go back to the home and let's create a container instance now so let's create a container instance I'll select the same resource group uh, we need the container name the container name is up and uh, we have to select the image source to Azure container registry and we have our uh, container app so uh, we need to enable uh, admin here so let's click learn more and we have to run this command so uh, I will copy this command and I will run it here so we need the, the uh, name here or I will write it directly not sure if we need the uh, my container up 
so I made the mistake here. It should uh, be with uh, one M, not two M's. So it is enabled and uh, now we can uh, use it. So uh, do we need to refresh here? I will refresh and I will select this resource group. I'll select up here, registry, and now it is selected. So uh, everything is correct. I'll change the size here. I will keep everything minimal. So 0.5 is uh, minimal uh, memory. So I'll select this, review and create. Uh, also, I think uh, I forgot something. So uh, we need to also go to the networking part and we have to map the port 80. So by default is automatically mapped. So we don't have anything to change. But if your container port is different, we need to select here the uh, the other port. So 80 is correctly and uh, we don't need to uh, change anything else. Let's create it. So deployment is in progress. The deployment is complete. So let's go to the resource and uh, we have a public IP address here. So we can copy this IP address and if we go to that IP address, we can see our app deployed. So this is how we deploy a Docker container to Azure contain container instance. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like, share and subscribe. Thank you.